guys we are back again in SS15 Subang as I mentioned in my previous bubble tea video we are going to be checking out the new bubble tea lineups that were opening or now has opened in Subang Jaya okay two things to note one only the signature or bestseller will be featured in this bubble tea review and number two the tea criteria will still be included in this review because one of the signature drinks has tea inside I hope this clarifies matters, so let's move on, let's start this bubble tea review. Guys, I've just got my hands on the black whale. This one is the fiery brown sugar whale ball milk. To enjoy this drink, you basically get a spoon first, scoop up the sugar, the, what I'm doing here, okay, and then take a straw. So let's start with grading them based on the five criteria, which is milk, uh, tea, sugar, boba, and price. Okay, I'll start with the milk first because that was the first thing that I had. Uh, so when you get that spoon to drink, to sort of take the first sip of milk and sugar, um, the milk is uh, creamy, it is smoother, it's lighter. Um, mm, it's five out of ten. I've always emphasized a lot on caramelization. Um, this one is fairly caramelized but it still lacks that kind of depth in the sugar that I would like. Mm. For boba, it is quite good. It's chewy, it's also soft. Uh, so for boba, I think it, also, it gets a 6 out of 10 for me. For um, tea, there's no tea for this option so it still gets a 0. For price, comparable to all the bubble tea options out there so it's a 6 out of 10 for me. We are at Feng Ta. I hope I pronounced it right, Feng Cha or Feng Cha in SS15 as well. Um, I have here with me their signature Coco Oreo Dirty Tea. So to drink this, I was told that you need to open it up, lock it in here. Ah, okay. Whatever you can drink, you drink first and then you stir it after that. So for Boba, I think it is a bit too chewy for my liking. It requires a bit more of a jaw workout. I would give it a 4 out of 10. As for the milk, well, it comes with the milk and the cheese foam and an Oreo topping. So that's quite interesting. I would give it a 6 out of 10. I didn't really pick up as much tea as I was expecting. So for tea, it gets a 5 out of 10 for me. Um, sugar wise, it is possibly uh, one of the lighter tasting sugars um, around. It's not that it doesn't have that deep rich flavor. So for sugar, I'm also going to be giving it a five. This one here is twelve ringgit and ninety cents, so it makes it very comparable or very uh, competitive uh, among all the bubble tea options here. So for price, it gets a six out of ten. Welcome to Shifan Station. We are in another bubble tea shop in SS15 Subang. And I have here with me the signature Marble Earl milk tea from. Shifen Station in Taiwan. So let's start off with the pearl since that's the first thing I had. Uh, it doesn't have this um, sort of like chewy all over or soft all over consistency. Uh, if you know what I mean. I think for boba I'm going to score it a 5 out of 10. For tea, I do feel that of all the bubble teas I've had, um, this has the strongest tea flavour. But for tea, I would score it a 7. Well, milk-wise, well, no, there's nothing much to shout about. So for milk, I would give it a 4. I think the sugar isn't as thick, it isn't as um, caramelized, it isn't as dark and rich as I would like it to be. I think sugar would get a 4 out of 10 as well for me. This is 10 ringgit 90 cents for this um, decent-sized cup of bubble tea. So for price, I would give it a 7 out of 10. We are at Mogi. Moj, Mugi. I'm gonna call it Mogi tea. And we have here their brown sugar uh, about milk with pearl. This is one of their best sellers. Mm. So I think for boba, this gets a four from me. And sugar. It's really flat tasting. Uh, there is just really no depth. So there's, no, there's no caramelization even, it's just flat tasting sugar. Um, 
I think for sugar, it gets like a 2 out of 10 from me. For milk, Four out of ten. Well, tea gets a zero because um, this has no tea. In terms of price, this one here is thirteen ringgit. So for price, I think I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. Yep. We have a special feature. This is the brown sugar bubble milk from Family Mart. The pearl. It's really soft. Um, I think it's overcooked. The pearl gets a 2 out of 10. Actually, surprisingly, the mix is okay. So, I for milk, it gets a 4 out of 10. Sugar. Four out of ten. Well, it's bubble milk, so tea gets a zero. It used to be four ringgit ninety cents, but now it's six ringgit ninety cents, so it's eight point five out of ten. Okay, guys, this concludes part two of my bubble tea feature in SS15. Again, we picked the best seller or the signature options from each shop. They have to be milk based or milk based tea with boba. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to more videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.